Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we'll be taking a look at the new Enshrouded patch that dropped yesterday. So this is patch two, let's go through it. Uh, greetings Flamebomb, we're here in our second big patch from Enshrouded. Once again thanks to all who, who have reported issues. Your support is as helpful as it is motivation, motivational for us. For those of you playing with dedicated servers you'll need to ensure the server is running the same version as the game. Okie dokie, there you go. Change log, let's have a look. Stability and performance fixed several rare crashes, added more security to the saving process to avoid issues with saving and better protection of the saved game in case there is a failure. Reduced the CPU load for idle servers, improved performance in large player bases and large crop fields. All pretty good changes so far. And multiplayer and servers fixed an issue that could prevent joining a server when the previous session was cancelled or crashed. That was quite an annoying uh, bug, and I'm glad they fixed it. All right, let's have a look at the game world changes they've got so far. Redistributed roaming enemies in several areas for improved balancing. Fixed more cases of enemies with incorrect levels for the region that they are found in. Fixed an issue where a flame altar near a shroud route could lead to the fog in the whole world disappearing. This isn't how you're meant to save Ember Vale. The game now prevents save points being activated when they are in deadly shroud. Fixed an issue that could lead to wax and honey spawning in the player's base without having harvested a hive first. For example, the video I made called the Infinite Honey Hole. Uh, polished several points of interest, tweaked the sounds from vultures, we heard you and them loud and clear, I did say they are incredibly irritating. Fixed several issues with incorrect ambient sounds, fixed an issue with music in dungeons being muted after combat, and fixed the timing of the traps in spires in multiplayer sessions. All good changes, especially the vultures because they were irritating as hell. And now on to gameplay. Fixed cases where the saving of crops when quitting and restarting the game would uh, game world did not work properly. Increased the stamina cost. <coughs> sorry. Increased the stamina cost for the jump attack. Fixed an issue where players climbing on a wall and ladder could interfere with each other, even though it was funny. Uh, the water aura no longer heals when the player is dead. And uh, here's something that everyone jumped on me and dug, dogpiled me for. Reduced the amount of twigs needed to craft arrows. Increased the yield of twigs from grown bushes. And even more so, increased the yield of feathers from their sources. It's almost like they weren't working properly. Oh dear. Lowered the amount of flax needed to craft high-end armor sets. It was maybe a bit too much padding. Lowered the amount of resources needed to craft decorative books. Not all books are the wheel of time, which is very true. Castle wall blocks now have the same maximum stack size of 5,000, like all other building blocks. Fixed cases where open doors would block arrows or other projectiles. Fixed some rare cases where looted weapons had an incorrect item level. And that's it for gameplay. And now for building and terraforming. Construction hammers no longer allow cutting holes into the unbreakable material, like the foundational bedrock material at the bottom of the world. It was funny though. Indeed it was. So there you go, that is patch two. There is mostly um, back-end fixes and crash fixes, but some nice alterations, especially to arrows. It's almost like I said it from the very beginning. Anyway, there you go, that is patch two, folks. Some nice little changes. Not a massive amount, but, you know, stability. That's what we like in the game. Lots of lovely stability. So there you go, there's patch two. And there will be a video coming as there is is quite a nice thing they're doing is called let me just pull it up they're asking for people to put in their most wanted change to the game and i'll be doing a video on that all on its own give it the credit it deserves so look out for that until then thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed please like subscribe ring the little bell for notifications it really does help us out and uh, i shall see you all for the next video so until then Take it easy and I shall see you later.